Hi guys, welcome back to um, our online learning today. Um, I will um, discuss about the top reading score cracking strategy. So we have done the speaking and writing one. Now today we focus on reading. In terms of reading, how to get um, you know good mark for reading, especially reorder paragraph and fill in the blank. Right. So for reorder paragraph, when you are practicing, right. Try to read the information carefully. Remember, I have suggested you um, the reading techniques. When you are reading, what are the techniques that you need to remember? Right, repeated words, connector, and pronouns. So um, that's how you read the information, right? Once you're done reading, try to find the first sentence. If not, if not, then you try to find the pair, right? You, you don't have to always find the first sentence because sometimes the first sentence can be easy. Sometimes um, the first sentence can be difficult to find out. So in terms of stick with the first sentence, you will need to find out the pair first. Because if you don't have the pairs, you don't have the marks, remember. Right now, the next thing that I pay attention is students, they don't spend enough time. You have three minutes for one question, right? Try to utilize your time. Sometimes you finish only one and a half minute, right? Because you are rushing and when you don't spend enough time, what happens? You tend to make mistake. Okay, you could have done better, but because you don't read carefully, you don't spend enough time, then you could not get the better score. Okay, so that is about reorder. <clears throat> and try to practice more because reorder, um, I would say, is not too difficult, but it's required um, you to practice. Okay, now in terms of fill in the blank, fill in the blank is a challenging one. Why? Because it doesn't always um, relate to the grammar rules. It also relate to um, vocabularies and collocation, right? So when you are practicing, read all the information carefully. Look for repeated words in um, the text. Look for the hints in the text. Why? Because that's how they tell you the answer, right? So use your grammar knowledge, vocabulary, and collocation, right? Now, if you make mistake, try to understand why. Because most of the time when you practice, you don't want to understand why. You only try to remember the answer, and that doesn't help you. You won't learn, okay? So try to understand why when you make mistake, and learn new vocabulary. Right. If your vocab is not good, you need to learn because reading is about grammar, vocab and collocation. If you don't know the answer in one blank, don't stress. If you don't know the answer in one blank, move on to the next one. OK, so when you move to the next one, they will give you the hint about the answer. That's what I mentioned. OK, then you might go back and then you know the answer in that blank. Okay. All right then. So that is about fill in the blank. Now, in terms of MCQ multiple choice question, um, MCQ is not important topic. Okay. So first thing, you don't have to stress about MCQ. Second, um, when you are doing the MCQ uh, practice, read the question first and scan through the option. You look for the relevant information in the text, okay? Now, if you don't know which one is the correct answer, that's fine. Use the elimination technique that I suggest you in the lecture, right? If the elimination technique doesn't work for you, just guess the answer and move on, okay? So, don't leave blank, I would say that. <clears throat> um, I, one thing I miss out is I would say, even though you don't know the answer, don't leave it blank. Okay, if you don't know the answer, um, guess and move on. Okay, but don't leave it blank. Always remember, don't leave it blank, right? Now, the last thing about MCQ is, remember, for multiple choice question, multiple answer, it doesn't mean that you need to select two options all the time. Okay, if you go back. Ooh. 
if you go back to the um, lecture, you will be able to see that um, if you're not sure, you can just take one option and move on. You don't have to select two options all the time. Okay. Why? Because it has negative marking. Right. So remember, um, MCQ, multiple answer, has negative marking. Right. So that is one thing I want you to know. Want you to remember. Okay. So these are the reading techniques. Again, reading require practice and practice make you perfect. So um, using the technique is just a part of it, but uh, practicing, applying the technique, that's how it makes you better, okay? Right, if you guys have any question when you are practicing, please contact your trainer um, for the feedback. And um, if you have any question, please ask your trainer, okay? So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video, okay?